We're in Madrid for the Fuse 2023 event, and I'm here with Fernando Rex, who's Head of Network and Operations for Europe at NTT Data, and Shujar Mufti, who's Global Head of Telco Solutions at Red Hat. And they're here to talk about how the two companies are working together. So, Fernando, let's start with you. I mean, how has NTT Data been collaborating with Red Hat uh, for your telecom architecture, and what are the main reasons for promoting this collaboration? We as uh, Entity Data uh, have been working for many years, or for, at least for the last five years, in the definition of a new portfolio of OSS, uh, a new portfolio of innovative OSS, I have to say, based on uh, open source solutions, uh, full uh, um, uh, cloud-oriented, and uh, actually uh, able to provide new features that are needed in order to support the new network that is, that is coming. In this, uh, with this goal, uh, we started working on the definition of these of these uh, architectures. But we found that in order to respond a very relevant uh, a very relevant uh, request from our clients, that is basically the possibility of deploying in a multi-cloud uh, uh, ecosystem these kind of solutions, uh, we, we a collaboration with uh, Red Hat was was needed. That they provide that, uh, us the, the value of. Uh, having solutions that can support from an infrastructure level the implementation in different contexts or in terms of environments and also have a, a, an ecosystem of, of solutions that we can use in order to uh, evolve our, our existing OSS uh, architecture in the future. So uh, Red Hat has quite a broad portfolio, so uh, exactly which Red Hat solutions were involved in this collaboration? As Fernando mentioned, Red Hat and Entity Data, they are working uh, to, to develop next generation OSS as a part of digital transformation. In Entity Data Performance Management OSS solution, Red Hat OpenShift is used as a baseline architecture that actually provides the capability, uh, cloud platform capability towards Entity Data OSS solution. Uh, we are also uh, leveraging OpenShift GitOps and OpenShift pipelines as a part of lifecycle management, additional components as a part of OpenShift operators framework, Yogabyte database and Red Hat EMQ is being leveraged uh, as a part of message broker functionality. Red Hat Quay is used for container registry and Red Hat Ansible R automation is used for automation and orchestration of the solution. In future, we are working with Entity Data in order to integrate Red Hat advanced cluster management for lifecycle management as well as observability framework. Also, in addition, we are actually leveraging additional capabilities in Red Hat Ansible automation with event-driven Ansible as well as Lightspeed Ansible in order to bring in this AI and ML and generative framework, framework which could further help enhance entity data performance management, OSS, in order to build uh, and look into this whole autonomous network solution. And what would you say are the benefits of using Red Hat's OpenShift platform? Red Hat OpenShift platform has a flexible architecture, whether to be deployed at on-prem or hybrid cloud or multi-cloud environment. It has a common set of platform and components and process, whether you deploy on-prem or the cloud environment. So it's a common framework across any cloud environment, first. S second is Red Hat uh, OpenShift actually provides a whole security posture across the cloud native and microservices workload, especially with entity data OS performance management solutions. Security <laughs> is a key component part of the solution. And third, OpenShift Red Hat in general has a large database of operators either developed by Red Hat or third party operators. And uh, uh, like some of these examples, Yogabyte database or IMQ are actually being leveraged by entity data OSS solution. So it has a large ecosystem of partners that are readily uh, available operators that can be deployed with a single click and are able to comprehend the whole solution. Okay. Uh, Fernando, from your perspective, how does NTT Data's performance management solution complement Red Hat's OpenShift platform? Our, solution, our PM solution complements the, the portfolio of products that Red Hat has. In, from different angles. Let me say, in terms of infrastructure, we have defined, define, as I said before, an architecture that is uh, open source, is cloud native, and therefore it complements the, the OpenShift uh, solution uh, that, that is based in, in Kubernetes. Um, and this fact makes it possible to implement, uh, this is something that's very, very remarkable, I already mentioned in the previous question, the possibility to, to deploy in multi-cloud complex environments uh, this solution. This means that we can leverage the value of Red Hat in terms of the solution OpenShift 
and the value that we provide uh, through the OSS solution to make business together and propose a, a better solution for, for our clients. In terms of, uh, not of the, from the past uh, level uh, 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 angle, we can say that also we provide an ecosystem of open solutions that can be integrated with the existing ecosystem that uh, Red Hat currently have and provide a huge value in terms of evolution of these uh, different uh, components together with our OSS solution to in include new features, new functionalities in the future according to the roadmap that we have de defined together. So has this solution actually been tested or even deployed with any network operators at all? Yeah, this is part of a huge, uh, of a bigger uh, framework of OSS solutions. PM is one of the modules that we have. We also have for fall, ma fall management, inventory, travel ticketing, and others. We have implemented these components in different operators uh, globally, in Europe, Latin America, and, and other regions such as Asia. Uh, but the most relevant uh, collaboration we have we had together, Red Hat and us, uh, has recently. Uh, implemented in Brazil for a Tier 1 uh, CSP. It's a, it's a huge deployment in terms of the number of components of the network that has to be managed. We uh, discover information uh, of these uh, devices, of thousands of devices in the network automatically. We uh, upload this information in a, an inventory. We uh, analyze this information and calculate KPIs. We uh, create alarms in an automated way and we pr provide reports and information to the users in order to make more efficient the, the operations. Uh, for the future, for the future we are thinking and working together in the approach of including also uh, uh, autonomous network uh, features through the automation that will provide a bigger value for the client in terms of, uh, as I said, progress on the path of, of autonomous, autonomous network. This adding uh, artificial intelligence features and other, compo other solutions coming from, from the portfolio of, of Red Hat. Okay, well that sounds very encouraging and it sounds like a really interesting collaboration you've got going on here. So, uh, Fernando uh, Shuja, thanks very much for joining us today and telling us what you've been doing together. Thank you very much. Thank you.